Hello my crafty friends, it's Andrea from Prairie Sky Paper Crafts. I posted a question on my Facebook page yesterday asking which stamp set you would like to see demonstrated today and the consensus with 100% of the votes was free as a bird. So I'm actually going to do two cards and I'm going to show you two different ways that we are um, going to be able to color it. First of all, I'll be using some of the blends and I will also be using watercolor pencils. It's been ages and ages, I think, since I've colored with the watercolor pencils. So I'm just going to um, get started today by showing you what I'm going to be using. So Freya's Bird and I also have some orders for sympathy cards. So I'm going to be using with deepest sympathy and thinking of you with all my heart um, for the sentiment. Now, the paper that I'm going to be using is this lovely, shiny stuff. Sorry if I blind you. The sun is coming right through my craft room window. Um, I can't think of the name of it off of the top of my head, but it is posted down in the comments. And I'm also using some of the In Good Taste designer series paper, which was carried over from the last catalog. And I'm going to be doing crumb cake just because I wanted something a little bit more neutral. Um, I've also got a couple of pieces of crumb cake here that I am going to be stamping um, the sentiment and the birds on. Okay, so we're going to get started. Um, usually with the birds um, or anything that I color with blends, you want to use something that is not going to run. Um, so you can stamp with the Memento Black, you can stamp with the classic uh, Stampin' Up! inks, um, but do not use Stays On because it's made with the same, um, or it'll run. It's not a water-based product, so if you use it with the blends, um, it will run. Okay, so I've got my birds stamped off already. And I used soft suede for this one. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and pick up a little bit of color with my, um, what is this one? This is the old olive dark. And actually, because the leaves are small, I'm going to use the smaller end. And I'm just going to do a quick color. I just love using the blends. They're such a vibrant color and they're so easy to use. Now, if the color is too dark, um, you can go over it with the color lifter and it'll pick up some of the ink so it's not quite so dark. Oops, two leaves right here too. I'm not being too terribly fussy because on the cardstock, the ink will kind of pull out a little bit. Um, so if you go right to the edges, it might bleed a tiny bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. It's a leaf there too. All right. Um, for the flowers, I've got the light real red. And again, just going to quickly... When I do... Um, coloring with the blend I kind of like to do a circular pattern as well just because it'll help hide some of that brush stroke a little all right there we go and then for the branch uh, this is the dark crumb cake and because this is a little small to do circles. I'm just doing like a, a light little flick on this one. Okay. So, oops, I missed two of the flowers. I always seem to miss something when I'm coloring. And I like to do all of the colors at once. When I did cross stitch, I liked to do as much of the same color in one spot as I possibly could. Now, I've been inspired outside of my craft room window. We've got, 
huge trees and a couple of bird feeders. Um, and there's been many, 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 many birds here lately. So I'm actually going to be doing the dark pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to do a robin. So I'm not going to be too terribly picky with how this is going to go. Because when I go over it, I'm going to pick up some of the dark crumb cake as well. And we've had lovely weather here the last couple of days and the leaves have really started to come and the grass is finally turning green. It's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna go in the circles. Now I am gonna go over the brown, um, sorry, go over the orange with a bit of the brown just to kind of blend it a little. And then I'm gonna go again over with the orange and blend it even more. Because I didn't really want it to be super, super bright. Actually, I just looked out the window and there's a robin sitting on one of the bikes that we've got out front. And I, when I close my blends, I like to really let it pop so that I know that um, it's not going to dry out. Because the alcohol markers do dry out fairly quickly if they're not sealed properly. All right. So I'm fairly happy with how this guy looks. Now I'm just gonna go with the Dark Daffodil Delight and just do a quick little hit of color on their beak. Okay, so there's my robins done. It's a fairly quick and easy process. I'm just gonna stick my markers back into their container and I'm gonna do this sentiment. Take my birds off. Um, for this one, I'm gonna be doing Thinking of You with all of my heart, and I'm gonna stamp it in the same color, which was soft suede. Okay, and there's our sentiment. And then I'm gonna let the designer series paper shine for this one. Um, so for this one, I'm going to use this paper, um, the In Good Taste paper. Uh, I am doing a pattern paper club. Um, so each month you would get one quarter um, of the package, so six by six sheets of each designer series paper. And then you would also get some coordinating cardstock and a quarter pack of bling or a quarter pack of um, the ribbon. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some dimensionals for the four corners to pop it up. Two, three, four. And then I'm just going to offset this a little. Actually... I'm going to set it this way. And there's our first card finished. So for the second one, I'm just going to put this off to the side. I'm going to be using the smaller bird and a different sentiment. So I have a piece of paper that's a little bit smaller, but my bird does fit. I'm just going to put the stamp off, grab my little bird, and I'm going to be using soft suede for this one. Um... Normally, when you're doing anything water-based, you don't want to use a water-based ink. So normally, I would use Stazon for this, um, but because I want to pick up a little bit of color, I'm going to use the Soft Suede ink. I've got um, my blender pen and a couple of colors of my pencils. And let's see, I think I'm going to do start with... This is pumpkin pie, so I'm going to create a robin again. And with the um, pencils, I don't usually get too terribly picky because when you use your blender pen, it'll blend and the um, any of your lines will go away with that. 
All right, so there's that. Now I am just gonna go over it very lightly with the early espresso, just to kind of pick up a little bit more color and definition. And let's see, I'll do a little bit more right here, I think. Okay. Do a little bit of the um, old olive underneath for the grass as well. And again, you can see I'm not being too terribly picky with this at all. Okay. So I'm just going to go blend in my grass. And then again, um, because it's a water-based application, before you move on to the next color, unless it's a complementary color or you intentionally want to blend, you just want to color off um, onto the side. Now, you can see that the early espresso crayon, or pencil crayon, I should say, is picking up, and it's also picking up some of the soft suede ink. So I'm getting two shades of brown kind of mixed in. So I do want to have a little bit of definition on his wing. And then because um, on the breast it doesn't really matter if there's a little bit of the brown pulled in, I'm just going to keep mixing and blending. Now you do want to be careful that you don't go over it too much or too hard um, because after a while the paper can start to pill. It does take quite a bit of effort for the paper to pill. Um, but when I've been a little bit too blend happy, it has happened. So I'm just gonna pick the beak a little. All right, love how that little guy looks. Now, because I'm using paper that is incredibly shiny um, and really bright and so very pretty, I'm not going to decorate this much more than I already have. I'm just gonna add my sentiment with deepest sympathy. And I think I'm going to pop this guy up with some dimensionals as well. I'm just going to pull four and pop it down on the corner. Okay, I should have left those on until I had my card base done, but it's fine. So I'm using the copper silver side. Absolutely love this paper. It is so pretty. So one side of the papers, um, as you can see, are shiny and the other side is more of a matte sedate pattern. So I'm just going to stick this guy on here. And let's see. Do I want to go that way or do I want to go this way? Actually, I think I'll do it vertically for this one. All right, so there's our two cards colored with basically the same colors, but two different mediums. Um, and you can see the difference. The watercolor marker or watercolor pencil, I should say, is a little bit more mellow, um, whereas the blends are a lot more vibrant. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow my Facebook page, which is in the comments down below as well. And as always, if you have any questions at all, please pop me an email at prairieskypapercrafts at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fabulous day.